everyone, it's Cindy from Stamped with Aloha and welcome back to part four of my summer pool party class. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a really fun card. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pieces I'll be using for this card. Now the base of the card is one of our note cards with envelopes. So the great thing about using a note card and envelope is that it comes already scored and you don't have to cut any paper and it's all ready to go and it comes with a, a coordinating envelope. And then we're gonna be using Pool Party cardstock again, cause that's the featured color in this class. And this piece here is three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. Now, um, the other pieces that we're gonna use is a piece of crumb cake that's three and a quarter by two. And then I have this piece here, which is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. And this has been cut with the Stylish Shapes dies. Now this is one of the dies I talked about um, in one of the previous projects, but I didn't have these to show you. So let me just show you that these are a really great set of dies to have because you have banners, you have circles, you have squares and everything nests together really nicely. So, um, all right. So the first thing I'm gonna show you as far as new product goes is a new embossing folder. And that's called the Cascading Ruffles 3D Embossing Folder. And it looks like this, okay? And so I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to place it inside the embossing folder. And so you could go in either direction, um, but I'm gonna do it like this, and I'm kinda gonna just line it up with that line right there. And then I'm gonna go take this and run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, so now it's been embossed. Let's open it up and take a look at it. And you can see that it has this really pretty ribbon-like look to it. But what I found with this um, embossing folder is if you flip it over, it kind of looks like waves and it has a really different look on the back, a very modern look. So we're gonna actually use the back side of this one and we're gonna glue it on the front of our card here. Okay. All right. So now we have the waves, and so now we are gonna create some sand. And so I have this piece of crumb cake cardstock, and I'm, you're gonna see it's gonna go across like that, but I wanna take about the top um, third of it, and I'm gonna tear it off. And so it'll give us a nice sandy look to it. So I'm just gonna tear, pull it towards me, and kind of turn it up and down a little tiny bit to give it some motion, and then we have sand. And it's simple, I just tore it if I feel like that's too much, I can always go back and tear off a little bit more, but I think that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over and add my adhesive, and then I'm gonna stick it down. Okay, so you can see that we have the ocean, we have the sand, and then we have the sun. So for the sun, it's gonna go right there, and then we have the main focal point. Now in all of the cards in this class, I have been showing you um, how this amazing celebration, adorable hippo set has worked. You got these three different hippos. You got some really fun sentiments. So for this card, I'm actually gonna demonstrate for you something other than the hippos, but let me show you how we can do a really cute hippo card, okay? So we're gonna use this hippo here. So if you're following along with me, um, you have your sheet like this, you would grab that stamp and then you go ahead and ink it up and you would stamp that hippo on there like that and then color it just the same way that I did in video number one. And then if you have the hippo dies, you can die cut it. Otherwise you can just fussy cut it, okay? So I've already gone ahead and colored it and die cut it like that. But then I wanted to do something unique with it to give it a little bit of a Hawaiian flair. If you follow um, my um, projects, which I know many of you do, then you, you'll, you'll know exactly where I'm gonna go with this. So I wanted to create a little hula skirt for our hippo. And the way that I did that was I did take the hippo dies and I die cut just the bottom half of the hippo so that it looked like this. So um, if you don't have the hippo dies, you could just get a scrap of cardstock and you could kind of trace the bottom of the hippo. But you basically wanna just get the shape of the hippo here like that. And then I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm gonna start by cutting off this tail right here. And then right below where that tail was, I'm just gonna scoop around the bottom and cut off the legs like that. 
And then up here at the top, I'm gonna just come in here and kind of just round, and cut it round and up, just like that. And just sort of like a freehand little skirt like that. And then I'm gonna take and just measure it and see, oops, it goes this way. I'm gonna just lay it on there like that. And I think that looks really cute. And then all I'll do is just take my scissors and I will just snip, snip, snip and make some little cuts on this little scrap of cardstock. Okay, and then I'll glue that on there like that. And of course, you know that this class is featuring the loose flower flourishes. So look at the cute thing we're gonna do with those. We're gonna just take one little one and put it in the hippo's um, ear. And then we're gonna take four small ones to make this adorable little lay. And then we'll just peel off a couple of dimensionals on the back and then we'll stick that on our card. And here's a version here where I've taken one of the sentiments from the Hippest Hippo set and stamped it right there on the sun and then you have this super cute little card. So this is the Hippo version for those of you that are working with the Hippo set, but if you wanna know another really great set to use for this card, I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite new products and that is found on page 44 of our mini catalog. And that is this set right here, actually this bundle right here, which is called Snowman Magic. So if you know me, you know I love snowmen. And so I'm gonna show you now a snowman version of this card that I think you're gonna really love. All right, so now we're gonna build a little snowman that's gonna go on our beach. So of course, it's gonna be built out of sand. So we're gonna create him with the dies. So I have the snowman dies. We're gonna use this die here. And there's a couple different options for arms, but I'm gonna choose the smaller arms, which are these little tiny ones here. And then we're also going to die cut a tree. Now there's all kinds of accessories in there. There's hats, there's noses. Um, there's all kinds of fun things in the die set. And there's a beautiful background um, with snowflakes on it. But again, we are making this snowman for a beach scene. So we only need these four dies, okay? So I went ahead and die cut the pieces and now you can see them right here. Now for the face, we are gonna do um, some stamping. If you don't have the stamp set, you could always just draw on a little face, but you'll see that in the stamp set, you have some different options for the faces. So you have this one with the eyes open, but we're gonna go ahead and use this one with the eyes are closed, okay? So let me get my stamp here. I'm gonna ink it up with some black ink and then I'm gonna stamp that. Okay, and then we'll just take one Stampin' Blend marker. Actually, we're gonna use two, but we'll start with this one. And we're going to color in and give our snowman a little orange nose, carrot nose. And then you know I just love to add little rosy cheeks. So we're gonna give a little rosy cheek there. Okay, let's put on the arms. And so we're gonna do that by just adding a little dot of glue to each side. And I like how it has this um, larger circle portion there, so it's perfect to hold just a little dot of glue. So we're gonna put one right here and one on the opposite side. All right, so now to make the hula skirt. And I found a fabulous way to make a hula skirt using this tree, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some scissors and we are going to cut right up the center of the tree. Okay, now we have one layer of a skirt and we're gonna put these together like this. And now we have a hula skirt, okay? So all I'm gonna do is then take these, this little skirt, you can see, isn't it perfect? I love it. And we're gonna just take that and we are going to wrap it around and attach it on the back of the snowman. Okay, and then I'm gonna just adhere it to the back with a dimensional.
Okay, and then you can see that it makes just the cutest little skirt. And if you want, you can move it around and just adjust it so you have the right look that you like, okay? And then we're gonna add our loose flower flourishes. Okay, so we have our little lei and the little flower. And doesn't that make the most adorable little hula snowman? Okay, so then I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna carefully peel off the back of the dimensionals. And then I'm going to place her on the beach right here. Okay. All right, and then to finish up this card, all we have to do is add our sun with our sentiment in it. Now, there are a lot of really fun sentiments um, that are in this stamp set. Um, I felt like um, because I die cut this size sun, there really wasn't any that would fit this very well. So I decided to move away from this stamp set and choose one from this other new set. That way you'd also get to see another great stamp set from our catalog, which is this Celebrate with Tags. So this has a really nice bundle with it as well, and it can do some really cute tag projects um, for different occasions, not just for Christmas. And so I love this all occasion one that says, let's celebrate you. And so that's the one I'm gonna use for our project today. So Celebrate with Tags, and let me get that out. And then I'm gonna ink up with some black ink and stamp that right in the middle. I always love stamping on a circle because you don't have to worry about getting it straight. Okay, so there we go. And I'll flip this over and I'm gonna just add some glue right to the back and we are going to mount that right there. And I'm not gonna add any more embellishments to this card. I think just the little flower embellishments are just are just enough and you have this adorable little hula snowman card so again you can do a really cute one with the hippo you're so hip or this let's celebrate you that could be used for a, a variety of occasions all right well that completes project number four and now we have just one more project in this series so i'll see you real soon for the final video of the series and we'll put together project number five until then aloha